Hello, I'm Carmen Hara, and uh, we haven't been talking in a while. Uh, I love to ask you about 2019, and I love to talk to you about 2019. What is your uh, projection? What are your goals? Uh, how do you see yourself in 2019? Uh, anytime a new year is coming, you have to think of a new you, a new beginning, a new way to... Um, deal with uh, with uh, uh, your life and to find new solutions and to meet new people and to reinvent yourself and to have a new start, a new beginning. That's what uh, a new life, a new year is all about, is a new beginning. So um, I'm going to give you my projection of 2019. I'm going to tell you what I think it symbolizes according to the ancient teaching of uh, Pythagoras. What it does symbolize in the Chinese um, uh, concept um, is actually uh, the year of the um, yellow uh, pig. And the pig in the, in the Chinese symbolizes um, uh, the water, uh, the, element of, um, the, the, the element that actually uh, heals, uh, the element that is predominant element of nature. As you know very well, the Chinese, they have five major elements, earth, water, fire, air, um, and uh, they also include uh, wood and metal. And uh, water is that predominant element that actually can stop the fire and can uh, invade the earth and can take over everything because 90% of, of your body is uh, actually water. And if you look at Mother Earth, uh, how much water we have, then you reach the conclusion that water will in the end be the fluid, the number one element. Life is like fluid. Life is like um, uh, a, a river. It flows. It, it moves. It. Um, and you're going to probably ask me what about the ocean. But still, you know, when you think of the water, water is uh, an element of reflection. Uh, Michel de Nostradam used to look in the water and... Um, make his prediction at midnight when the sky is opening and the water was the element that reflected uh, uh, his uh, vision and he looked in the water and said, hey, there's Hitler 500 years later. It's pretty remarkable how using the water you can actually uh, enhance your ability to visualize, enhance your potential of becoming a seer and I think we all see, we all see beyond the physics, beyond the chronology, beyond the linear time, beyond the, the five sensory level, uh, we all see bit beyond what we taste, what we smell and what we hear and what we see with his eyes. Uh, that's why we all talk about the third eye or we all talk about the sixth dimension going beyond the fifth dimension. When you actually bridge the two hemispheres of the brain, the cognition, the left side, and the subconscious mind that carries all the information about you uh, uh, through life and through many lives uh, and has the sense of knowing and has um, this ability to actually uh, uh, travel, travel to space and time, uh, which, which are the two elements that lim limit our existence on Earth. Uh, but 2019 is if you add together 2 plus 1 uh, plus uh, 2 plus 0 plus 1 plus 9, uh, it's actually um, 2019 equals a 3. So 3 is actually the most benefic element according to numerology, which is the language of the universe. And 3 means uh, stability. 3 means... Uh, the Trinity, the triangle, the most solid element of all times. We still don't know how the pyramids were created uh, thousands of years later because one uh, of the uh, of the stones is way heavier than two SUVs. So then we question how was that possible in those times thousands of years ago to be able to build something that has that kind of a, a, a magnificent power in it's so hard to build. So um, uh, more so the pyramid with the mystery, the, the fact that the pyramid, they do attract high dimensional energy. If you think of the pyramid, the pyramid is designed to absorb on top of it the, the, the power from the universe, the light, the, the, the 
frequencies and we are made of vibration energy ourselves so our body uh, turns into a pyramid if you sit in the yoga position your body transforms into a pyramid in uh, uh, the idea with the scope of um, uh, absorbing uh, high dimensional energy so um, talking about three so I'm, I'm like giving you a lot a lot uh, that a lot of information uh, in trying to explain concepts way deeper than just superficial. So, uh, 2019, according to Pythagoras, it's a number three. Three is the most benefic planet. It associates with the most stable element. It associates with the planet uh, of um, <clears throat> uh, creativity. It associates with the planet Jupiter, the most benefic planet. And it associates with the planet Mars, which is the planet of war and fight. 2019 is also a year of resolution, while 2008 was the element of two, the duality and the conflicts. Anytime there's a two, there's like two people fighting against each other. There's always a, a, a conflictual situation that can happen. So that's what we saw uh, throughout the world and most likely in America. We saw so uh, many elements of, um, of fights and conflict and arguing and um not being able to reach a conclusion, but as we step in 2019, there's there's a resolution, there's a conclusion about uh, the Mueller investigation, there's a conclusion about uh, what what's going to happen in the White House. It's gonna there's gonna gonna uh, be a conclusion about economy. Unfortunately, you know, economy has been uh, going well during 2018, but unfortunately, in 2019. The economy suffers a big setback, uh, one of the worst uh, uh, in a very long time. And we're going to see, uh, again, a crisis uh, um, that will unfortunately affect the stock market, the houses, um, the uh, house market, the, the prices of our homes. Uh, and on top of everything, with the feds raising up the interest rates, that's the last thing we needed. But it's happening. It's happening and it's not uh, um, very pleasant. But 2019 is also a year of uh, water. So we're going to see a lot of flooding. Uh, we're going to see uh, parts of the country that we haven't seen flooding. We will actually see that. We'll see it all over the globe. Uh, tsunamis, um, so natural disasters that are associated with the element of the water. During 2018, you saw the element of the fire less the element of the water now the element of the water is going to be predominant during 2019 i'm not going to look into the life of celebrity because i think they have their own life we should keep their privacy um in place and we should not necessarily relate our lives to the lives of uh, just a group of people and what's going to happen to them we wish them all the best in the world and we wish everybody a phenomenal 2019 but most likely we are preoccupied with what uh, is going on for all of us collectively at the level of planet Earth, what's going on in America, what's going what's to gonna happen with other parts of the world, with Russia, with North Korea. And we will see actually some conclusions and some resolutions of everything that we, we've seen unfolding during 2018. So um, to a wonderful 2019 I uh, wish uh, uh, you a very, very, very happy New Year. And I only pray and hope that humanity will um, start uh, understanding how significant it is to come together to acknowledge the transformation that Mother Earth is going to. And we are locating Mother Earth. And we should honor uh, Gaia, the Earth, and honor her as... Um, the place that gives us um, what we have and um, we should uh, treat Mother Earth differently for our own being and our own survival and acknowledge that, yeah, Mother Earth is going through some major changes uh, and that they become very obvious during 2019. Uh, so no more denying of um, the planetary changes. They will become extremely obvious. But 2019 also is a very good year for the medical field, we rapidly discover things uh, at the level of the DNA, you know, how to treat the, the, the prolonged life on Earth. It's becoming more and more clear. We have the ability 
to uh, to uh, to find out all kinds of extraordinary things about how to extend life on Earth. And a major major medical discovery during this year that will um, become extremely uh, important for us in the years ahead. But 2019 is one of those crucial years between now all the way down 2033 when the era of Aquarius is totally established and the era of uh, uh, of transition is coming to an end. And whatever you decide during transition, you will have to deal with after that. So let's pay attention. Let's um, let's open our minds. Let's come together. Let's create the oneness, the totality, the uh, holiness. Um, the let's let let's bridge our differences. Let's reach common ground. Let's try to understand how significant it is to be united in a time of, of crisis. Uh, in as I said, I wish you 2019. Uh, uh, I wish you 2019 with blessing, with love, with um, achievements, with with good good health, with paying attention to the way you think, pay, paying attention to the people in your life, to paying attention to what you project in the universe, paying attention to nature. Uh, to performing acts of kindness uh, as many as possible to create that that goodness within your soul uh, to bless yourself you know with the with the right um, with the right thinking the right attitude and, and the right um, way of um, uh, treating your own self and the world around so um, uh, happy new year I'm Carmen Hara if you're interested in um, Reaching out to me, you can go to my website www.carmenara.com. Feel free to contact me. It's my pleasure and my delight to be in touch with you. You can go to Carmen Hara on Facebook, on Instagram. You can communicate with me. I have a lot of live videos. I'm going to do another live about 2019 on Facebook. I love doing these live videos because I can interact with you, which is a an enormous joy for me so um uh, let's be in touch i love to have you as my friends i love to have you on social media i love to help you one-on-one -on -one if you need me again write to carmen hara at a well an email love to hear your thoughts i always give you sessions that are free buy one get one free 50 off whatever i i take care of your needs in a time when uh, the world is going through a lot of um, a lot of turmoil, I should say. Uh, I'm Carmen Hara. Thank you so much for watching. And until next time, uh, I'll be very glad to um, let me know if you like my video. Much gratitude. Happy New Year.